Right, we are live. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. And we're here with Rob. Hi. Graham. Hello. We're going to be playing Furnace tonight. As always with these live streams, let me know if you can hear us and you can see us okay. Uh, no camera on these two tonight, just a camera on me, because we've got another stream coming after this. So the other camera is set up over there. Right, Furnace. Um, you two haven't played. Nope. No. But Graham has read the rules. Rob hasn't read the rules, but I'm going to be doing a full teach to start with. Um, this isn't a sponsored video, so a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for, for funding the channel. I'm just checking the chat. Is anybody letting us know whether they can hear us or see us? Hopefully they can hear us. The audio is going out. Yeah, audio and video is fine. Thank you very much, James. Right. So welcome to Furnace. Uh, we are 19th century capitalists. We are building our industrial corporations and trying to make as much money as possible. We're going to play the game over four rounds. Money is the winning. Money is the victory points. Okay. You don't spend money in this game. There is no way to spend money. It, money is purely what you gain from doing things, and it is effectively victory points. Each round is divided into two phases. There is an auction phase where we will be using our uh, counters here to bid on the seven cards that are available. Seven cards because it's a three-player game. These cards were chosen randomly from a big deck of cards. There's no seeding. They're just completely shuffled. But we're going to be placing our counters on these. Um, the cards that you win will be added into your tableau. Then, in phase two, we all run our industrial empires. So if you look at the cards, they are basically converters. So some of them will just gain extra resources. This one will gain two coal. This one will turn one iron into four coal. They're all about gaining stuff or converting one thing into another. And some of them will convert things into money, which is effectively points. And we do that for four rounds, and then it's the play with the most money that wins. That's, that's essentially it. Right, now, before we go any further, uh, you have started with this. This is your starting card. There are five starting cards in the game. We shuffled them and gave everybody one at random. And you start the game with the resources depicted on the top of that card. So you start the game with two coal. When we come to running the cards, you can run your cards in any order you want to. But once you've started running a card, you have to run the card completely before you move on to the next card. And when you run a card, you run all of the lines from top to bottom. So your starting card has three lines on it. The first line would be you gain an upgrade token. The second line would be you may convert three coal into four money. And then the third line is you may spend an upgrade token and a coal uh, to upgrade a card. Now, these cards can all be upgraded. These cards can't. Your starting cards can't be upgraded. But if you look at the bottom of each of these cards, there's a kind of a grayed out bit. That's telling you what's on the other side. So the upgraded version of the card is basically better. Okay, it's a better version of what's of what's on the front. Um, but yeah, essentially what you're doing is you're getting resources, converting those resources into other resources, and then converting those resources into money using the cards here. Okay. Any questions so far? No. no. Bidding. Let's go back to the bidding. This is where this is where the clever bit comes in. Is this a normal dice? This yep. is a normal dice. Right, start player. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Rob, you're the start player for the first <laughs> round. That will rotate clockwise at the end of each round. Okay. Okay. So, when you bid, you take any one of your four pieces and you put it on any of these seven cards. You are putting that bid on that card. Play then passes to me. If you were to put that here, nobody else can put a three on that card. Okay. And you also cannot bid again on that card. That's the two bidding rules, okay? No player can put a counter on a card that they've already got a counter on, and uh, all counters have to be a different number. So I could go on there with a four, or I could go on there with two, or I could go on there with a one, or I could not go on there at all if I wanted to. But you can't have two numbers of the same. Okay. So just as an experiment, just as a test, everybody just put their stuff on the cards and I'll show you what would happen. Because this, this continues until we've all used all of our things. Okay, so what happens is we now resolve the cards one at a time from left to right. The winner of the bid, in this case Graham, gains the card. But everybody else gains compensation. This is where the twist in the game comes in. The compensation is equal to what's printed at the top of the card multiplied by your bid. So in this case, Graham gets the card, I get two coal. Here, I get the card, Graham gets two coal. Here, you get the card. Here, I get the card, 
Graham can do that twice, you can do that once. And that's instantly, at this point. You don't get the card, you just do that once. Here, you get the card. Here, uh, Graham gets the card, but I can do that twice. And here, you get the card. Okay? So basically, it's a combination of winning the cards that you want to win, but also getting the compensation bonus for other cards. And quite often, you actually want the compensation bonus rather than the card itself. Okay? If a card doesn't get any bids on it, it's just discarded because there will be seven new cards next round. You always go left to right, don't you? You always go left to okay. right, yeah. The cards are always resolved left to right. So you could be picking up the resources to feed into your actions. Yes. Later yeah. ones. Yes. Okay. So then what happens? I've, told, I've stolen your bits. <laughs> then what happens is once we've um, once we've done the auction round, we all run our run our cards. And as I mentioned, you can run your cards in any order. What I like to do is I like to arrange my cards from left to right in the order in which I'm running them. But we're not playing with the advanced variant, where you have to then stick to that, and you can never change it. Basically, every round, you can rearrange your cards and run them in whatever order you want. The rule book says, once you've run a card, you know you can rotate it, or you just, just do them from left to right. Um, any questions about any of these conversions? Don't like so. They're relatively relatively clear it all puts stuff in on the left get what get what's on the right and if there's a, a, a multiplier it, that tells you how many times you can do it so this one is really powerful that converts an iron and an oil into seven and you can do it twice it's really good mm -hmm. i can't remember what the winning score was yesterday if you're watching this live let us know what the let us know what what the winning scores are i can't remember last night i think it was it's either 60 something or 70 something something like that Right. Now, we've got special you, abilities. Go on. Sorry, uh, compensation, you can't get it unless there's a higher bidder. So Correct. If, if, you, if you've got the highest bid, you get the card. You can't say, I don't want the card, yeah. and take the compensation. Because you might want the compensation. You might want the compensation. <laughs> this is where, if, you re if I really wanted three iron, mm -hmm. I could go in with a three, but then I might win the card. Yeah. So I want to wait. Wait for somebody else. If somebody, mm -hmm. somebody else goes there with a three, I'll go, okay, I'll go there with a two. Yeah. So that I get the iron. Right, we've each got a special ability. So my special ability is those rules that I mentioned for the auction phase don't apply to me. I can place my discs on places where I already have discs uh, and I can put numbers where there is numbers of the set. So all, all of those auction rules, I don't have to follow them. If I have two values on the same tile, I don't add them up. So in that case, I would win the bid with the three, and I would also get two compensation. Okay? If I tie, I don't win the bid. So I don't win ties. Okay, so in that case, I would get three compensation, and you would get the card. So that, that's my special ability. That seems quite powerful. Yeah. It does. Graham, what's your special ability? My special ability is I get an additional two uh, for my bids, uh, which considered as a red colour. So you've basically got an extra bid token. I do. Right. Okay. Rob? So mine affects upgrading. When I upgrade a card, I may spend, is that iron, iron. or steel? Yeah. Instead of uh, spanner. Yeah. Um, but I must spend all of my spanner first. Yeah. So I played I played last night and I used mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. uh, and I got loads of iron at the start of the game and I did loads of upgrade. So the bottom of your card shows you the cost to upgrade a card. It's the same for all of us. It's always one upgrade token and one coal. For right. you, you can use an iron in place of an upgrade token mm -hmm. as long as you don't have any upgrade tokens. Okay. So it basically means you can upgrade your cards a lot easier than we right. can. But this will always give me a, uh, an upgrade token. That will always give you an upgrade token every round that you run it, yeah. But last night, for example, I upgraded three cards, mm -hmm. I think in round two, something like that. Yeah. Right, well, if there's no other questions, Let's give it a go. Four rounds. Most money wins. You're up first, Rob. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> no. so, um... I mean, my, my thing here is I can spend one oil to get four money. So I'm inclined to try and get some oil somehow. Yours, yeah. your your starting card, is spending lots of coal to get, to yes. get money. So you might want to go somewhere that... Yes. I mean, these two cards, for example, get you coal if you win the card. Well, well get you coal when you activate the card. Mm -hmm. And also get you coal if you don't win the card. 
Because any card you get now will activate in round one, but any card you get, you keep for the rest of the game. You are building up your engine over the whole game. Yeah. So I need to think about the engine I'm building. Yeah. Um, and of course, changing things as, as cards come out. Oh, I really didn't want to go first. Going first is great, because you put your four down on the card that you want, and you'll guaranteed to get it. Yeah. If you know what it is you want. Well, this gives me uh, iron. Yeah. And I think I need iron. Yep. But then I also need coal, so... Um. Yeah. Um, okay, so I think... Yeah, so looking at this... That is the only card that's come out that generates iron. <laughs> None of these other cards generate iron unless you want compensation. And there's only one which will do that at the moment. Yeah. This is an interesting mix of cards that's come out. Um, so I think... And I also want... Oh, I'll start with the coal. I think I'm going to put the one on there. Because if I win it for one, brilliant. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, I can convert that iron into into mm -hmm. an oil. So I'm going to go for a three. Brendan says it reminds him of Century Spice Road. I've not played Century Spice Road. <clears throat> I I really There's like yeah. three of them in the series. They're supposed to be really good. The cards remind me a bit of Sidereal Confluence. Okay, yeah, with the conversions. The conversion. I mean, anything with an arrow with a number reminds mm. me of Uwe Rosenberg. It's, mm. It just reminds me of Le Havre. Um, well, I think a two is good on either of these, and I need to remember I can break the rules. You can. So if I really wanted coal, I could go on there and get eight coal. Because <laughs> I'm not in any rush for my coal, am I? Presumably yeah. you have to actually take some cards at some point. You can't just get through the game by... I'm pretty sure you can't win the game yeah. <laughs> with just this. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, let's... Let's go on there with the three. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Niramas is in the chat. Good evening, Niramas. Thank you for joining in. Seems like a no-no for games for people with AP tendencies. Yes. Yeah. Possibly. And is in the chat. Played it twice. Loved it. In there. Yes. Play mat is not included in the game. It was included in my copy of the game. I got um, this is basically Franken Furnace. So Robert from Awaken, uh, not Awaken, Arcane Wonders, said to me, "I've got a copy of Furnace for you. So you can pick up pick it up at Essen." So I went to Essen, and their shipment hadn't arrived or something. So on the last day of Essen, he basically got three demo copies, all of which were missing bits. And put one together for me. So this is a... you. If you're watching this and you were at Essen Spiel last year, you may have touched this copy of the game. But it's basically been made from three demo copies that all had bits missing. And, it, and the playmat was in the bottom. Right, what's going on? Um, so at the moment, I'm winning both of these cards. Okay, so... I'm going to go on there. This is different with three. I've only played it with four before. With four players, you use an extra card. But there's a lot more right. interaction with the bidding. two over there. Okay. Oh, you've got an extra two as well, I've haven't you? I've got an extra two. Yeah. There's no way to generate... Uh, does it have a solo mode? It does not have a solo mode. It does have a variant mode for a two-player game because it's auctioning. It's very difficult to do auction games. I'm sure somebody could do a solo mode using two dummy players. But then it'd just be a... Yeah. There would be no intelligence behind no. The, the other dummy players. But like playing games with the cats. So you're all done. Unfortunately, oh, I had to go first. So. Which I don't think is an advantage. <laughs> I think it's an advantage to go first or last. Right. I think, having having played it I suppose once. You get your first dibs on the card you want. But. Yeah. So. Oh, 
Oh, there's no source of oil, is there? I mean, this this converter is useless at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm going to get an oil. All right. Because I'm going to win this card, okay. and yeah. I'm going to convert an iron into an oil. Yeah, that's the only source. But I was doing that so I could sell it. But actually, now that I'm winning this card, which I didn't want to win, <laughs> I don't think I want to win. No, I did want to win this card. Sorry, yeah, if you win the card, I'm not going to do that. No. I'm going to get this. You're going to get that. Okay. You're right. So so that that disincentivizes people okay. to want to get second place because the compensation on this is useless. Yeah. Question is, do I want this? And I don't think I do. So I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on here with a four. Remember, I don't win ties. Yeah, but you get a lot of coal. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go with coal. two, and it's back round to it's me. And it's back round to you. And I'm going to go. Uh, well, I've got very little choice really. Because I can't do anything where I've already got a colour. Correct. And you can't and duplicate numbers. No. So, so I've only got one card. You've got to go there. I've got to go there. Okay, right. Just so we resolve the cards time. from left to right. So Graham wins the card. Rob, you get Two four coal. Four coal. Thank you. Okay, next. Graham wins the card. Rob gets six coal. Oh, lucky I need to kill them. Next, I win the card. Next, I win the card. Graham, you may convert one oil. What I have done. <laughs> okay, next, I win the card. Rob, you get one iron. Thank you. Uh, you get the card. Yep. And then here, you win the card. Graham, you get four coal. I get eight coal. There are some multiplier tokens should we run out. Okay, right. So now that we've done that, uh, that's your card, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. The next phase of the game can actually be done simultaneously, but I would suggest for at least the first round, we just go through it. I'll go through mine. Uh, I'll go through mine first. So again, you can only do a card once, and once you've started doing it, you've got to carry on doing it. Um, so in other words, if you upgrade a card, ah, this works. Yes, this works. So I'm going to do this card first, okay? And when I resolve the card, I do it from top to bottom. So the first thing I do is I get an upgrade token. Then I'm going to skip that line because all lines are optional, but I'm going to skip it because I don't have the oil. Now I spend an upgrade token and a coal, and I'm going to upgrade this card. So that's that done. Now I'm going to do this one. And I am going to convert. Do I want to convert that or do I not? Right. I think I'm not going to do that top line at all. No, I am. I'm going to do. I'm going to do it once. So I'm going to spend two coal for two money. Then I'm going to spend four coal to get four iron. Right. That's that card done. Now I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to convert iron into oil twice. Convert two iron into two oil. And then I do this card, which simply gets me two coal. Okay. That's me done. Graham, we'll do yours. Yep. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to upgrade this one. Uh, so which card are you resolving first? So okay, from left to right. Yeah. So you get first, an upgrade token. I get an upgrade token. There you go. Thank you. And I'm going to spend an upgrade token on this one. With a coal. With a coal. To upgrade that one. Yep. Yeah. So that's that so card done. That's, uh, that goes. So you're not using the converter. Do back the... You're, uh, not, you're not I... using the middle bit because you don't have any iron. Nope. Even if you had the iron, it's optional. Yep. Mm. Then it's just a simple run of getting. Oh, you get two coal. Two coal. You get two coal. Those two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And final one, as I'm going to spend an upgrade token. For five money. Five money. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Right. Rob. Well, I think I didn't really think about that first round well enough because I've only got one card which I can upgrade. Although I potentially could have two upgrades, I've only got one card that I can upgrade. Yep. So I, I can use this. I get an you upgrade, get an upgrade token. token. Do you I want to spend, spend three coal for four money? I will do that. Yeah, because okay. I've got plenty of coal. Yep. And uh, um, three, so that's four money. Yep. Uh, and then I will spend the upgrade token and another coal to upgrade my okay. one we'll card. Just keep your money here. Just it's on camera. Yep. Or you can uh, put it here, in fact. Yep. There you go. 
Well, that and then you matter. activate that card, which gets you an iron. Yep. So, haven't really played efficiently, I think. That's alright. And we're done. Yep. yep. Round two. So, start player passes to me. Oh, okay. We Good. get seven new cards to cut the deck. Oh. Not sure nope. you need to. I think no, the top card may covered. be supposed to be visible. I don't know. I use the, the, the rule book says to put them on there, but I'm putting them under there just so we don't get confused. Right, let's have a look at these cards and see what we've got. So you need oil. Um, I can use oil, yeah. Yeah. Well, there is another card there. So I'm going first. Which one do I want? that's going to get me lots of stuff. Because that converts oil. I need a way of selling the oil. Uh, I have one way here. Probably want another one. That's quite good. I think that's quite nice. That can sell iron for too many each. Hmm. Okay. That's also oh, that's even better. Right. Boom. I just noticed it. <laughs> that's where I was going to go. Yeah. If it's upgraded, it's one coal and one oil for six money. Can do it twice. So what's the difference between a yellow oil think... barrel and a white oil barrel? White means it's not there. That's telling you what's on oh, the other oh, side of the car. Of course, yeah. Thanks. So I've got to upgrade that for it to do something. Although I did forget I had this. I'm going to go there. Mm. Well, I've got a source of iron and a way of spending oil, so I could maybe use a converter. Yep, that's good for you. So we've got in with all of our fours. Mm -hmm. So what else do we want? What else do we want that we might get? In fact, no, I will. If I put a three on a card, that guarantees that I will get that card because you two have both spent your your yep. fours. So which other card do I want? That is the question. I don't really want one that spends oil, because I've got loads of that. If I'm not going to be upgrading cards anymore, that's really good. But I think I want to upgrade some more cards. So, that's no good, that's no good, that's no good. Let's go for this one. Alright. I think I'd quite like to do the conversion. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to remember my power. Yours is easy to remember. You've, yeah. <laughs> you've got an extra token. Everyone else has used their threes, haven't they? Yep. I've only got a one left. Graham's got two twos. Somebody told me today that there's an expansion set on the way for it. If you know any more details about the expansion set, let me know. Because all I know is expansion set. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Um, so my final one will be... I need lots and lots of coal. So I'm actually going to use my ability to go here. So I think I'm going to go and try and pick up that one. Mm -hmm. Which will work. Yep. You're going to get both of them. Well, potentially, you'll get that if you want it. Depends if you want it. 
I guess I'll take a gamble. Twenty more coal. Probably not. Okay, right. So this card. Rob, you win the card. Yep. I get four coal. Have yep. a card. It's okay. Next card, I win it, and I get compensation. I get two coal. You're going to compensate yourself. Yep. Graham wins the card, Rob gets two coal. Thank you. So what happens if you run out of coal in the mix? Or? We've got multiplier tokens. Oh, okay, right. Uh, Graham wins the card. Graham wins the card. Rob wins the card, Graham gets three iron. And then I win the card. And you two can do conversions. Rob, you can do that twice if you want to. I'm going to do it twice. Graham, you can do it once. I shall do it once. Okay. Right. Right. Are we happy doing this simultaneously? Potentially. I'm going to run uh, out of space, though. Yeah. Okay. And then I will talk the audience through what I'm doing, just so... So it's there. So I'm going to do this card first. I'm going to get an upgrade token. I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm then going to spend the upgrade token and a coal to upgrade that card. So I can only do one upgrade in a turn. Rob potentially could do lots more. I'm going to spend these two for eight money. I'm then going to do that card. I get an iron and I convert those two and those two for 12 money. I'm going to convert right, this. Let's do these two simple ones down. first of all and get some coal. Ah, oh. no, I won't do that. Sorry. I'm then going to do that one. Um, to convert those two into those two. I'll do that do one. This one. That's easy. This one to convert that and into two coal coins. Excuse me. And... I... Ooh, this is a rubbish card. Why did I pick um, this one up? I have a spare spanner. Oh, because you can do um, as many upgrades as you want. Ah, yeah. So I will spend an iron. for two upgrades. I will spend token. that and that. Then I will another get... four coins. Excuse me. I'll get and two coins I upgrade and four or do I iron. sell? Done. I think I've done that right. I will sell this one this time. And I will do that one. So you can only activate each card once, obviously. Correct. Yeah. So I've done those. But the upgrade thing there is done that one. So you can do that yeah. I've got three to do. I'm going to do this one, sell that for five. And. Get one more iron. It's always a worry when you're doing it simultaneously. You've done Somebody something wrong. Somebody might make a mistake. I know. Yep. Yeah. I mean, do you want to go through what you did? So just check it. I'm Can not do. going to do that one. That's fine. Um, I think these two weren't upgraded to start with. Right. So you uh, did two well, upgrades. Yeah, there's no... I don't remember what I had. I, mean, yeah. I think I had a couple of these. Yeah. Uh, and I spent two of them to get... So you did uh, that card first, got yeah, an iron, sold those for eight. For eight, yeah. yeah. And then I didn't spend um, the iron on here. You then I did instead, that to do two upgrades? I instead that twice, yep. spending two coal. And I also spent three coal. Is that the three coal that you spent? Or? Yes, that was probably it. Yep. Okay. Um, you spent get, three coal to get four money. You then yep. did two upgrades, yep. one of which was with coal. Uh, yep. yep. Coal, coal and, and an spanner. Upgrade. And then and the second coal one was coal and, and an iron. Yep. So you upgraded both of those. Yep. Yep. And you then, you've not done anything with those cards? Not done well, you got the two coal from that, presumably. Uh, well, um, I haven't used that yet, so. Okay, so you get another two coal. Get another two coal, yeah. If you spot anything that any of us is doing or we've done wrong, let, let us know in the chat. So, points after round two, I'm on 16. I'm Point on 16. On. 16. 18. Okay, here we go, round three. You're the first player. Thank you. Five, six, seven. 
You won't see all of the cards. In fact, you don't see all of the cards even in a four-player game. There's a few cards you don't see. Right then, round three. Ooh. Off we go. What have we oh, got? Give the amount of coal I've got. That looks like a sensible option. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah, quite a few of these look nice. Hmm. Which one are you going to go for? Um. Really need. Uh, that looks decent. I don't know whether to go in with my four straight away. And if there's one that I really want. And this is the opportunity to get it, I guess. I think we're going to... So at the moment I'm spending two oil a turn here and I'm generating two oil a turn here. So me getting another card that spends oil when I have no other way of creating oil seems a bit of a waste. But if I upgrade this, it creates oil. Ah, But then I can spend oil there. Yeah, I think I'm all right for the oil. Because this card is amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, let's... It's almost like you need a spreadsheet to work out. Yeah, by round four it does get does get quite tricky. I th ah, now there is that. Which is like a million oil. <gasps> mm. Just realised I could go here and convert all of this iron into oil, and then I, then I have more than I know what to do with. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm I'm certainly going to go on with my three, so that I can do that three times. Okay, done. So I think I'm going to yes. come in. I could have got two cards. <laughs> three over there. Yeah, I was eyeing that one up as well. Didn't think you really wanted. Oh well. Well, Graham's got a way of spending the upgrade tokens for money. Quite a few ways of spending all great tokens for money. You've got three ways, haven't you? But also, have got a, a fair bit of coal coming through. Right. And if I did upgrade on that one, that's a nice little money earner. Mm. And I've got a large stack of coal ready to go. Some of that coal. I need lots of coal. It's a common needed resource. Mm. It's this sort of point where I'm just thinking I'm just throwing it in really just to use up my tokens. Yeah, I'm curious to know if you're um, if you're watching this video and you've played it before, do you do you bid your highest number first, or do you save it to the end and then grab something? Because in previous rounds we've all just gone with our fours first, but I'm I'm keeping it this round. I'm not sure why.
Ähm Let's put the one on there. Mm. Even more cards. Jerome says it depends. Some cards are so valuable that you want to go for the four. Yeah, I guess it depends what comes out. If you spot the perfect card for you, you want to grab it. Okay, so I've got my one. Have to play. I got my four. Oh, you got your four. Yeah, I still got my four. <laughs> now this could get crazy because I could put the four on here, convert those to oil into six iron, and then when I go here, and I can only do it three times. I was going to say I could convert <laughs> loads of it. I'm forgetting I'm only doing that three times. Um, I'm going to go on here. It's a bit rude, I know, but... So, oh, that's my only option. Right, so here, Rob wins the card, I get six coal. Card. Here. Rob wins the card. Thank you. Here, Graham wins the card. Thank you. I win the card. Graham, you get two iron. Rob wins the card. Graham, you get two coal. And here, Graham wins the card. And here, Rob wins the card. I get to convert three iron into three oil. Graham can convert two iron. There you go. I got one card that round. You got how many? Four? Uh, four, yeah. yeah. But I didn't get any resources. but Okay, right. So I felt like I was lagging behind because I didn't have so many cards. But, right. Well. Hmm. I'm going to get an I'm going to do this card first. I'm going to get an upgrade token. Then I'm going to spend two upgrade tokens and two coal. I'm going to upgrade that. And that. Activate. Activate. <sighs> right. Next. Do you like tap them or something? You can tap them and say you've done them. Yeah. Just hard to remember otherwise, isn't it? For me it is anyway. Um. So I've done that. Into two of those. Next, I'll do this. So I get an iron and I convert two coal, two iron. This generates another iron. Into 12. Done. Next, I'm going to do this one. Get an iron, convert oh, two sorry, of those, two of those. already upgraded, I don't need to do that one. Into another 12. Oh, activating it. Then I use that one, convert two iron into two oil and get an oil. Then I do that one and get two coal. <sighs> then I do that one and convert four coal into four iron. Actually, I don't want to activate this yet. And then I do that one. I'll activate it now so I can spend these. One of those into one of those. Done. And then that generates that. Right. I haven't even started yet. There's so many options. <laughs> oh. Right. I'll Doing just do the well. easy ones, which is just to get the these four coal through. Four coal. Nice and easy. Right. Those, those two done. Right. Then I'm going to go for this one so I get the get upgrade, upgrade token. token. And I'm going to... Uh, then I have to do that one next, which would be an iron. It is optional, but if you're going to do it, I might as well you do have it. to do it next. Yeah. I'll do your money. So that's, that's four, four money. Thank yep. you. And then the upgrade, which is on coal and one upgrade token, which has gone there. It says to upgrade this one. 
to there. Which you do next. And I can use one iron. Yep. To get an upgrade token. Yep. And then I can do this up to three times, so that's nine. So you're using nine coal for twelve money. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, do that one next. So that's two, two coal for an for oil. For an oil. And you can do that twice. Twice. I might as well. Sorry. I was trying to sell some oil. So let's go over to this one. So I was selling one of those for one another for four, four coins. Yep. And does that leave me with? So I'll go for sell one upgrade. For five, five coins and one iron, and then do I bother to in the last one? I think I will. Ooh, actually, no, I'm going to hold on to it. No, I'm going to stick, stick okay. at that point. Uh, you've made 25 that turn, so there you go. Thank you. Very much. How did you do, Rob? Um, I gained um, how much did I gain? About 12. Okay. But all done? All good? Yeah, I think so. So, scores after round three, I'm 40. Yeah, I'm 28. There you go. We're going to the last round. 30. I think my my curve was very slow to start. You 38. Know, I didn't. Getting one card at the start. I mean, you've now got as many cards as I have. Yeah, but I guess I didn't have the, you know, the to pull few. through early on. Right, the start play goes back to Rob. And off we go for round four. Now I, I need a spreadsheet so that I can add up all of the uh, sources and sinks that I need. Alan says, if you're the last player to place your four, there's little reason to place it as your first bid, as you'll win whatever card you place it on without your special power. Yes. First time player says a joke. So I, I played this for the first time last night. Graham hasn't played it before but read the rules. Rob knew nothing about the game uh, until turning up tonight. So yeah, you two, it's your first game. Yep. This is my second game. Clearly you've got an unfair advantage. I have an absolute unfair <laughs> advantage. Yeah. Uh, Plus I've been stealing money from the bank while nobody's been looking. So yep. it's, it doesn't say you can't do it in the rule book. <laughs> you always see those threads on BGG of people saying, oh, can I do this? And it's like, well, no. And they said, but it doesn't say you can't. And it's like, well, of course it doesn't say you can't. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. Must be like a logical fallacy. Mm. Sorry, this is where I'm, I'm having AP problems. And not for good reason. Either. <laughs> the good thing is, it's a 45-minute game. So a bit of AP doesn't hurt. It's when you get AP in a four-hour game that it makes you want to mm -hmm. poke your eyes out with a rusty spoon. <laughs> um, well, I need coal again. There's lots of coal here. Lots and lots of coal. So if I go on there with three, then if I win it, great. If I don't win it, I get six coal. Happy with that? Yes, mm. last round already. <laughs> it is quick. What time is it? Okay, yeah, it's quarter to nine. So it feels like we've been playing about 20 minutes. But it's been 40. Oh, and the rules explanation as well, didn't we? Yeah, that wasn't long though, I don't think. Maybe 10. Yeah. I like that it's quite light on rules. Yeah. Um, interesting.
this might be a bit crazy. But I need a way of selling iron. I don't have any way of selling iron. I'm, I'm getting way too much iron now. Um, although there is a way there of selling iron with coal. Let's go there. <laughs> Just spotted that. Mm. Now I need lots of coal. There. Uh, Jerome, yes. So I, I got through the storms today, quite safe. Where where I'm living, we're in a little bit of a dip. So my partner actually works in the town where we live and she walks to work in the morning. When she got home at lunch, she basically said, oh yeah, it's quite sheltered here, but on the high street, it was it was very bad. How about where where you were today? Um, not too far from here, so yeah. it was, was it similar, to be honest. We was it okay with... where you were? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. fine. Just watching the trees all day, just swinging yeah. back and forwards. <laughs> <laughs> I moved everything around in the back garden, just in case, just in case. But there are people who live fairly near here who have lost their power today. Who was in the chat earlier on. Hopefully you got your power back, Paul. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go there as well. Oh, I can't so you can't do that. You've got the two yeah, already the there. the two's on there. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. oh, well. <clears throat> so it's only you that can do this, isn't it? The two of yours on the You could go on there with a the one. I could. Yeah. I couldn't go on there yeah. with a I'm I'm allowed to duplicate where I am. And I can copy numbers. Yep. I couldn't put it there. You can't put it there. Right. It's popular. <laughs> it's popular. This place. Sorry. Oh, that, that, that hurts, actually. But well, well, you are going to get lots of coal. I was going to get lots of coal anyway. Yeah. Right, so I get this card. Oh, I've got to put my one down oh, as yeah, well. Oh, yeah, you got your one. So, do I go there or there? Uh, I think I'll go there. Okay, Rob, you may convert two coal into one oil up to three times. I think I might do it three times. Have a card, have a card. Thank you. Uh, you get one iron. Rob, you get the card. Thank you. Right, this mess here. So Graham gets the card. I do that six times. Rob does it once. So I get 12 coal. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All the coal. Right. That's yours. Thank you. That's yours. Thank you. Right, off we go then. Woof. Oh right. Dear. I'm going to get an upgrade token. I'm going to sell an oil for four money. And then I'm going to spend two upgrade tokens and two coal to upgrade that. And that, I think. I don't know now. Yes. Okay, that's that done. I'll just move them off when I've done them. So I'm now going to do that. Get an iron, spend two oil, two coal, get 12 money. Done. And then I'm going to do
do that and get two coal. Right, then I'm doing this. I spend one coal for an oil. Then I spend three iron, three coal for 12. Done. I then do this, get an iron, spend two oil, two coal for 12. Right, what we got left? Uh, no. Resources are a tie break. Number of resources you've got. Don't need to do anything with that. So that's not going to get me any money. Um, yeah, I'll do that next. I'll spend four coal for four money. I'll convert one coal into four iron. I then convert four iron into eight money. And then I'll just get an oil. Lots of waste at the end, but... Ah, right. Happy with that? So I'm going to get an upgrade for this one and use the upgrade in the coal to upgrade this card, which gave me two coal. And then, about your money. and I can do that twice, so that's 14. 14. Yeah. Okay, I've got your money. Thank you. Sorry. And uh, just do 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 do. I'm going to bag some extra coal. So two, four. So that's those two done. And then work down this sequence. <laughs> that's a lot of cards. <laughs> and this is why the people who say, oh, I think it should be an extra round. I don't think it should. No. I think four rounds is. It's tight enough. Perfectly fine. So get one of those. That's a big engine. Sell that to get an upgrade. Yep. Okay. Uh, I can then use one, two, three, and I want to save. Do I want to save it? Gosh, did I get the se sequence wrong? Definitely going to sell three. So that's four definitely money. another four. Yep. And that's going to go through to there. That's going to sell those. So yeah, sell the other three as well. So that's another, three for another, another four. four. Then I don't bother doing that one because actually that's completely out of sequence now. So I yeah. don't need that one. I don't need, I've got the one token there. So that's a five. So five. Then I've got, oh, I've got no coal left. Da. Do you want to take some of the coal selling back? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's, I'll just go with it. Well, you'd, you'd be better doing it. Yeah. So rather than selling the six coal for eight. Yeah. Hold it on. So 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 there's three. The three so you, coal. So you've got six coal. So I had six coal, didn't I? Yeah. And I sold one lot of. Yeah, I've eight. taken both lots back. Yeah. So I'll take all six back. Yeah. Thanks. Spend four of it. Yep. That's to get one. two oil. Yeah. It's slightly more efficient. Right. That's what I was going to do. Yeah. Yep. And then, and then sell three oil for four each. It basically yep. means you've got yes. an extra two coal. Yep. So you get 12 money. 12 money. That was the one. Thank you. Okay, all done? I think so. And that's just there you go. by the by. Yours all right, Rob? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, mean, I got some points this round, but no, probably not anywhere near as much. So we added the points. I got 75, 85, 92. 65. Yeah, anything like that. 60, is 92 a good score? I think it's certainly higher than what I got yesterday. 74. 74? 52. 52. But yeah, you, you two haven't played before. So this wasn't a sponsored video, which means we can say what we want about the game. <laughs> I think this is brilliant. I think it's nice. It's, you've got a range of, of things going on. Yeah. 
because it, it, it's a quick teach. I mean, some people class this as a filler game. I don't class it as a filler because it's more than 15, 20 minutes. But for a 45 minute game with a five minute rules overhead, I couldn't play this like three or four times in a day. Yeah. Yeah. But it fits a very, very nice spot. It's thinky with a light rules overhead with good gameplay. So I think this is a solid game. I really like it. Yeah. Just on two plays. As I say, I could I could probably play it. I wouldn't want to play it repeatedly every week. I think it might get a little bit stale. But if you've got an hour free, it's it's a good game. What you don't want when you've got an hour free at the end of the night is to then spend twenty minutes explaining a game because you don't have time. So Do you think this is really an end of the night game or Yeah, I think it could be. If you've got an hour at the end of the night, you don't want to then get out a game that is going to take you ages to teach. Whereas yeah. if every, whereas even if you don't know this, it's a five minute, it's a five minute teach. Are you thinking more from a thinking point of view? Well, I, I like the bidding. <laughs> um, I, probably a bit I'll slow on the uptake this evening, maybe because I'm a bit tired. But 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 I think the admin side of it, you know, just working out the sources and sinks. You'd like, fall asleep, wouldn't you, looking at the cards? Well, I, I struggle with that, you know, <laughs> yeah. just because I, you know, I need a spreadsheet or something. Yeah. So. But I can see why a lot of people would like it. Mm. But the bidding is very clever. Yeah, I, I like the bidding. I think certainly I want to get another couple of plays in yeah. to feel comfortable enough to really start to enjoy it because you would anticipate the sort of cards which might be coming out and, yeah. and what sort of combos will work. Um, but the first time you sort of see them, you're not quite sure what's going to come. I mean, I wasn't really... So my knowledge of what cards were in the deck didn't help me because I'm more reacting. I just made sure that I was able to do something with what I had. So I... You know, if I'm generating oil, I needed a way to spend the oil. Uh, yeah. In round three, I realised I was getting way too much iron. Mm. So I took a card which allowed me to spend the iron. I think as long as you are you are generating the stuff you need to make the money, or you are finding a way to sell the stuff that you're generating, then that's then that's fine. So it's a, it's about it's a combination of buying the right cards, but also the secondary effects. I ended the game with no coal. How much coal was I getting from compensation every round? Mm. I was getting like eight. In that last round, I took 12. So I took 12 coal in compensation. I ended the game with zero coal because I needed that much coal every round in order for this to work. So I had to make sure that I was getting that coal somehow. It seems to be fairly easy to get lots of coal if you, if you get compensation through compensation. You know. The only way it worked for me was this, because in, oh, okay. in that last round, there was one card that gave compensation for coal. Right. And I was able to go on there <laughs> with all of my yeah. tokens. That's and if get, you couldn't have done that... and If I couldn't have done that, I would have had six coal, yep. and it, it wouldn't have worked. And I wouldn't have... I, I'd have probably lost like 12, 15 points. Something like that. I'm so. not convinced that ability is as useful as yours. But maybe in a different game. Yeah, know. maybe in a different game. I don't know. I yeah. mean, if you can get lots of iron at the start mm. and you can upgrade all of your cards. I mean, how many of your cards did you upgrade? You upgraded most of them. Yeah. I think maybe the problem was that I didn't have enough cards to upgrade. Right, yeah. Round one, you only got one card. Mm. I felt swamped in cards and swamped in... Yeah. Lim- well, limited in choice because of mm. these this extra two. Mm. So Brendan's asking end. what the advanced rules are. So they are, they are in the rulebook as variant rules, but they are advanced. So... This is interesting. After each auction phase, you must assign your newly placed cards in a... Basically, you create a chain, okay? And whenever you take a new card, you have to insert it in the chain. And you can never change the order of your cards. And then you must run them from left to right. That's basically it. That's that's the advanced rules. But it means I wouldn't have been able to do... I was I was moving these things around. So every round I was creating a chain of cards and you have to fix it. So it's a nice little variant. Because what you could do is, if you have, like, if I played this now a third time with two new players, I could play with those rules and everybody else could play normally. And that would handicap me. I so. think it would also allow the other players to spot what you don't, you're doing, what you need, yeah. and could actually stop you. Yeah. But... At the moment, you, you've got such a degree of flexibility that you can compensate for it. Yeah. Just change your engine. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. We're all done. Thank you. Thank you very much for you two. Thanks. Um, we are going to be packing this away now, and in 30 minutes' time, 
we are going to be playing Siege of Rundar. So keep an eye on the channel. If you're interested in seeing Siege of Rundar, that will be going live on the channel in 30 minutes time. We're going to put this away. We're going to get that out. I'll probably teach you how to play and then we'll, we'll play through Siege of Rundar. So yeah, join us in 30 minutes. Until then, as I say, a big thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for funding the channel. If you like the content that I create, obviously give the video a thumbs up, uh, but please consider supporting me at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. See you in half an hour. Cheers, everyone. Bye-bye.